This video will show you how to format the header section of an APA style research paper. I'll be using the 2013 version of Microsoft Word and following the guidelines as explained in the publication manual of the American Psychological Association. It is important to remember that you should always follow any specific guidelines given to you by your instructor, even if they are different from what is explained here. To begin, you'll double click in the header section of a Microsoft Word document, which is close to the top of the page. Next, you want to mark the different first page button. This is important because not everything you put on the first page in the header um, belongs on all of the other pages. Next, you want to select the header button right here and then choose the first option in the list, the one that says blank. This will put some text in your header that you will change. If you click type here, it will go completely gray and then you can type in your text and it will disappear. It's important that you format your header just like this with running head, um, colon, and then the title of your paper in all caps. Next, you'll tab over to the far right margin and you'll add the page number. To do this, you select page number and then you select current position. Finally, you choose the first option, the one that says plain number, and it will insert the number for you. Next, you want to click over to the header of your second page and you'll do what we did before. Select header, choose the first option where it will put in some text for you. You should click it so that it turns gray and then type in your information. You only want running head on the first page. The second page and all additional pages have just your title in all caps. Next, you tab over to the far right margin and you put in your page number again. Select page number, current position, and the first option, plain number and it will insert it for you. Microsoft Word keeps up with what page you're on, so it should number sequentially. It's important to know that you may have to change the font or the size of the text in the header, even if you've already changed that in the body of the paper. Most papers are written in a 12-point font with Tom's New Roman, so you will have to change it yourself. Since you have the different first page button marked, you will have to change it on the first page and the second page for it to apply to your entire paper. Once you're done, you have a header formatted according to APA style guidelines.